Hi, this is Brian Forrester, and this is another adventure with HiddenIncaTours.com. Please consider joining us for the Inti Raimi Festival of the Inca in Cusco in June 2018. Here we have two short clips of the magnificent megalithic Sacsayhuaman located above the city of Cusco. And those of you who have watched my videos will know very well that engineers, stonemasons, etc. state emphatically that the Inca were not capable of creating this giant wall. Therefore, a much more ancient and advanced technological civilization once existed in Cusco. Just for fun, here's a glimpse at one of the magnificent condors. But the main part of our adventure today will be exploring areas around the Sacred Valley of Peru. Here, for example, is the Sacred Valley itself and the magnificent terraces of the Inca at Pizac. On top of the mountain above the town of Pizac, we have the major Inca construction of Pizac itself. This is the official entryway and what you're looking at is actually the fortress. The entrance to Pizac was very narrow and that was in order to make sure that possible invading armies could never reach the area except maybe two or three abreast. Therefore it would have been very easy for the Inca to defend the site from anyone trying to attack. And here we see the magnificent Inca terracing system at Pizac, a monumental achievement by one of the world's greatest ancient agricultural societies. That was one of the great strengths of the Inca, was major agricultural production. They supposedly had enough food stored to be able to feed the 15 million people that the royal Inca family watched over and took care of. The Inca Empire was not an empire, it was a confederation of states with the city of Cusco as the center. And now you get a glimpse at the 2,000 to 3,000 ancient Inca tombs located at Pizac. And here you see the actual administrative and royal center of Pizac itself. And a glimpse at Inca period construction. And once again, the huge number of Inca burials, likely people of nobility. Now we're driving through the very narrow streets of Maras, which is a small village about an hour's drive outside of Cusco, and we're on our way to another major and fascinating Inca accomplishment. The fields of Maras at this time of year are yet to be planted, and they produce some of the finest food in all of the world. We take time to stop and give candies to some of the local children walking home to their farms from the little town of Maras. It's something we do as a gesture. And now, here we are on the narrow road heading towards Marai, which is this magnificent Inca um, accomplishment. And there you can see one of the Andes in the background called Qigong. The narrowness of this road means that it's only one-way traffic. It's both exhilarating and horrifying at the same time, but after you've done it 40 plus times, it's okay. And now finally we have reached Morai. And I'm sure you will be blown away if you have never seen this before.
Supposedly, this was an ancient volcanic crater, which the Inca altered in order to make it an agricultural system. Some theories are that it was an experimental station. However, scientific studies have shown that this is likely not the case, but that it was used as a combination of an amphitheater for part of the year, and then also agricultural terraces for another part of the year. It is possible that ancient acoustics were used to enhance the seeds. Again, Marai, one of the most magnificent of the wonderful accomplishments by the great Inca people of Peru. And we invite you to join with us on the upcoming Hidden Inca Tours following Mexico, the Maya and Olmec and other ancient cultures in January 2018. Our exploration of Egypt in March of 2018. Limited availability for this tour. Then the Inti Raimi Festival of the Sun, celebrating the Inca in June of 2018. The Elongated Skulls Tour of Peru in August of 2018. And finally, exploring Croatia and the Bosnian Pyramids in October of 2018.